Every year, the Mauritius Wildlife Organization takes more than 10,000 people on guided tours of the Egret Island Nature Reserve. The flora and fauna here are almost all unique to Mauritius. The NGO uses its nature trail to educate the population about protecting endemic species. Only 5% of the island state's original forest remains. In the mountain forests on the main island, Vincent Florent studies how the indigenous species benefit nature. The forest was relatively well preserved in the first place, uh, but then very importantly, uh, the invasive alien plants have been removed. As you can see just behind here, dying tree there, this is an invasive plant, and you can see it's been ring barked at the base. And if you look over there, you will see that this area is very dense because it's f still full of invasive alien plants. They have not yet been removed. When you remove them, you have a much more lighted place like we are in here. And as you look around you here, you see a lot of young plants growing. The forest start regenerating again. The giant bats, known as flying foxes, are returning, ensuring that the seeds of their favorite fruits are scattered across the forest floor. The tall trees that grow from the seeds protect the undergrowth. Invasive macaque monkeys have been removed from the forest. They destroy important plants and the hatchlings of rare birds. The macaques used to be kept in cages here. Marianne and Owen Griffiths run a business with them. They breed and sell macaques for animal experimentation. Most of the proceeds go to biodiversity protection projects. Our challenge is to help with government, with other NGOs, protect the remaining bits of land. And one way of doing it, as you've just alluded to, is buy up threatened areas and then put in a conservation program, which means removing the invasive alien species and helping restore the original forest. But is it right to sacrifice one animal to preserve other species? Opposition is mounting on the internet and on social media platforms. The organization Doctors Against Animal Experimentation says that in 2013 hundreds of lab monkeys were delivered to Germany. These animals suffer terribly, especially once they're in the lab, when they're subjected to toxicity tests and when they're tortured to death. There's no way any benefit to other species can counterbalance that. But Vincent Florent says the Griffiths forests are important for his research into biodiversity. Because of the extent of habitat degradation here, a lot of extinction, we are ahead of the world in many ways. So studying uh, conservation in Mauritius gives us a bit of an advance notice of what's going to happen uh, around the world. The flying foxes can once again hunt for food in the forests. That surely is a sign of hope in the fight to protect endemic species here.